Hey rabbits, it's Trixie and yes, I have a cold again, but this doesn't stop me from making yet another video for you guys. I have been going through a lot of stress lately and apparently this transformed my immune system into a slice of Swiss cheese. So yeah, again, <coughs> but I hope that you don't mind and let's just dive into the content. Today I want to present you with 10 German words that even Germans sometimes tend to say wrong. This doesn't sound so special yet, but with wrong, I mean that they say them in a way that they completely change their literal meaning. Just imagine that many native English speakers would say the word cheesecake as geese cake or something like that, making Gänsekuchen out of Käsekuchen. And today I'm going to present 10 German words to you that undergo some sort of transformation like that. Even suffering from a really annoying cold, here comes my Don't Be Offended song. Please don't be offended, this is just a little fun video. Ew! Although my voice is scratchy, this song keeps being catchy. But of course, what I want to say with this is that by far not all Germans make these mistakes. But I've heard myself that some do, and these words can be pretty funny if you say them the wrong way. Let's get started, shall we? First off, der Einfallspinsel. As a translation, I found blockhead or twerp in English. As you can see, this term is kind of an insult and it consists of die Einfalt, the simplicity, and der Pinsel which actually means the paintbrush, but is also an old word meaning a mean person. For this reason, Einfaltspinsel describes a person that thinks in a really simple way. And yeah, it's basically used as a synonym for idiot. Some Germans, however, don't say Einfaltspinsel, they say Einfaltspinsel, which is kind of funny because der Einfall means the good thought or the idea. So they basically make the good idea paintbrush out of der Einfaltspinsel. If you say it that way, it's actually the opposite kind of what it means in the first place. A slightly dumb person that has really simple thoughts versus a good idea paintbrush. See the problem? Next word, das Rückgrat, describing the spine. It is actually a combination of der Rücken, the back, and der Grat, the ridge or the chine. But some Germans also write it this way, Rückgrat with a D in the end, which makes it a back degree such as in degree Celsius. Or, and this is even slightly worse, they write it this way, Rückgrat. Exactly, Rückgrat, which is then a back wheel. Do you know these skeletons from Dark Souls that have a wheel as the main part of their body? This is something I could imagine as a back wheel, but for the normal use of Rückgrat, this seems to be quite unhealthy. Another word that happens to be misspelled or said in the wrong way by Germans is Kreissaal. Der Kreissaal is the room in a hospital where babies are delivered and its name comes from Kreisen, which means to moan. Because you know, women when they are in labor, they make sounds and believe me, to moan is pretty much of a euphemism describing the sounds they make. If I were to give this room a name, I would call it screaming my ass off in freaking agony room. But yeah, I guess moaning room pretty much does the deed. However, kreisen in the meaning of to moan is a really old German word and most Germans don't know that this word exists. So they write kreisal as kreissaal making it a circular room, a circle room, moaning room, circle room. I think the latter sounds way more pleasant, but then again, it's just not accurate. At least the moaning rooms that I have seen have been rectangular. So unless you're talking about circle rooms in the sense of running around in circles because you're about to die of pain, that's wrong. Number four, das Augenlied, simply meaning the eyelid. Huh? What could people possibly get wrong about this one? Well, the problem is that there are two very similar German words pronounced as Lied. It's das Lied, as in eyelid, and das Lied, which means the song. As you can imagine, it happens from time to time that Germans spell eyelid, das Augenlied, 
making it the I song. My eyes, my eyes, my eyes are blue. I see with them my blink and wink and you do all that too. The next word I want to talk about is die Bleistiftmine. And I cannot blame anyone really for getting this one wrong because there are just too many things being described as die Mine or die Mine in German. Let me break it down for you in a sentence or two. Die Mine with only an I in the middle can be the mine that you win ore from or the landmine, you know, the explosive. Die Mine, however, with I-E, is a facial expression, the mimic of a person. Die Bleistiftmine means the pencil lead. And I can easily understand why people spell or say it wrong, because it seems so unrelated to all the three things I just mentioned. A pencil lead is not something like a coal mine, and it's also not an explosive, unless you're a James Bond, and it's not a facial expression, is it? So, of course, many people, including me, sometimes spell it wrong. The correct spelling is Bleistiftmine, such as in the coal mine or the landmine. The next tricky word is Gratwanderung. Die Wanderung simply means a nice walk in the forest or in the mountains. But then there is Grat again, and we remember that Germans already struggle with that, writing Rückgrat. As well as Rückgrat, Gratwanderung is written with a T and not with a D. It literally translates to something like rich walk, and it means balancing act. Grad Wanderung would be again something like a degree walk, a degree Celsius walk. And I can only imagine this as like walking on hot pieces of coal, burning your feet, so better don't write it that way. I will only mention the next two really shortly, because they already appeared in this video, things that Germans do wrong in German too. One of them is das Rentier, with Ren meaning deer-like and das Tier meaning the animal, so it's a deer-like animal. But since the word Ren is only rarely used in German, some Germans tend to write it Rentier, a running animal. The other word was der Spaziergang, which means the walk. You know, the nice walk that you take in the park on a sunny day, listening to the birds twittering. It is simply connected to the German verb spazieren, which means, of course, to take a walk. But some Germans write it spazieren or spaziergang. Der Spatz, however, means the sparrow in German. So they make spazieren sparrowing instead of taking a walk, and der Spaziergang, the sparrow gate. Next up, die Walnuss, the walnut. The very relatable struggle that many Germans have with this word is that there's often a double consonant following a short vowel, which is the case in Walnuss. But even though there is a short vowel in Walnuss, it's only written with one L, making it a Walnuss. Which is kind of funny, because der Wal means the whale in German, and I can understand that many Germans don't see a connection there. It would be a bit easier to understand if it was in fact a Walnuss, because der Wal means the rampart or the wall. We all know how tough it can be to crack a walnut, but whale nut? Whales are so huge! Shouldn't their nuts be, you know, not like this size, but more like... So I definitely don't blame anyone for spelling or saying this word wrong. It is not connected to a whale, however it's written this way. The Wal in Walnuss actually derives from the old German word Welsh, which means Latin, French or Italian, or simply foreign. So in German, the Walnuss actually doesn't mean the whale nut or the rampart nut, but more or less the foreign nut. Last but not least, der Wermutstropfen. The first part of the word is connected to der Wermut, which is a drink that tastes really bitter, Wermuth in English. Regarding this, der Wermutstropfen describes the drop of bitterness in a really melancholic or sad situation. But since some Germans, including me, are not so familiar with alcoholic drinks, they write it this way, der Wermutstropfen. Die Wermut means the melancholy or wistfulness, and I agree that it still makes sense that way, but it's not quite what is meant with the word. But actually, Wehmutstropfen sounds a bit strange and kind of pathetic to me. Are we maybe thinking of the same situation right now? A moment in which the pure desire grows so strong that a drop of something is released. Exactly. 
It's when you sit alone on the balcony thinking about a beloved one and you shed a tear because you miss him or her so much. That's also what you were thinking about, right? All right, rabbits, I really hope you enjoyed this little video. I had a ton of fun researching on this topic and I hope you didn't mind my cracky voice so much. If you're German, be honest. Which of the words I presented would you have gotten wrong? Or did you do everything right? Do you know how these words are spelled? And do you maybe know more of these words in German or in any other language that are often misspelled and therefore lose their literal meaning. I'm really interested in all of your comments. If you liked the video, please leave a thumbs up because that would make me really happy and I also heard that this helps a lot against nasty colds. You can also watch another video of Don't Trust a Rabbit to hear how my voice normally sounds. You can find one right here or you can follow me on Twitter, Instagram or Facebook or even support my channel on Patreon. I would appreciate that a uh, lot. Now I wish you all a very beautiful day. It's autumn now, so be careful that you don't step on eine Walnuss and hopefully we're gonna see each other in my next video. Bye! And I cannot blame anyone for getting this one right. <laughs> wrong. Gratwanderung is written with a T and not in a D. Not in a D? <laughs> Do we maybe think of the same situ situation, situation right now? That should be a thing. A really shitty situation should be a situation. <laughs>